Hey gang, Dozer here. I just made a roller coaster in Minecraft, complete with a few surprises. Stay tuned to the end to see how it's made. All right, take a look, and I hope you don't get motion sickness. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Now, why a Minecraft roller coaster? Well, being obsessed with playing Roller Coaster Tycoon when I was a kid, I saw the many functions of minecarts in Minecraft and played around with it to see what more it can do. And upon discovering the gigantic underground cavern underneath our base in the server, an idea popped up in my head to construct a little experience for my friends to discover. First, I needed to gather a crap ton of sand, gold, redstone, and iron to make all the tracks. My goal was also to make use of the pre-existing landscape. I felt the underground cavern had plenty of points of interest to build around, and so I built the track around that. I also decided to use glass tracks to improve visibility of the surroundings, so lots of melting down sand for that. One big challenge I wanted to solve was how to get the rider all the way down into the cavern from the surface. I could have just built the biggest roller coaster drop, but then I decided to experiment. I created a little minecart test area. And the things I learned? When a cart derails, as long as the cart lands right on the track, it will latch back on and continue its momentum. You also don't experience any fall damage as long as you remain in the cart, so you can drop from however far you want. Using a water elevator in a cart was also an interesting discovery. 
Same principles. As long as the water flows towards the track, the cart will reconnect to the track and continue forward. That gave me the idea of a free fall experience where I dropped the rider all the way down to the underground cavern, and then using a water elevator to bring them back up to the surface. As for the automatic doors, they were simple. It's just a matter of placing detector rails to deactivate sticky pistons so that they move out of the way, allowing the cart to move forward. As a bonus for people who want to try it, I also put some targets to try and shoot, seeing if you can hit them all. As for lighting the track, I peppered in some frog lights and other natural lighting. I could light the whole track to prevent mob from spawning or attacking, but then where's the fun in that? And lastly, back at the station, there's an activator rail that pops you back out safely with a cactus positioned to break down the cart and hoppers to recollect the cart, ready for the next ride. And that's it! Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.